ready for some kicks, drills, and thrills. This lower body focused cardio workout features four kickboxing inspired combinations that move the legs in all directions to target all of the major muscle groups. Now switch to a wide knee jog. The externally rotated hips provide an active stretch for the inner thighs or hip adductors. You're performing a wide jog. Now hold that right knee externally rotated out and then jog left lead wide. Four, three. Now hold that wide knee out on the left. Our first combination is based on front karate kicks. Kicking to the front puts more of a focus on the anterior muscles, the quadriceps and hip flexors. You've got four more, and then we're gonna move into a repeater four kick. The intensity will pick up. Last one. Now right leg repeater four. Double kick to the front, and then curl back and kick. Now left leg. You're thrusting your arms, driving your elbows back as you perform a double kick. The intensity's picking up. This combination is based on side karate kicks. Kicking to the side puts more of a focus on the outer thigh or hip abductors. Now get ready to turn on that proverbial power button because we go to our most intense round. Singles, right, left. In four more, we go back to karate kicks. Karate kick right, slow it up. Four, and then left, three. This combination is based on rear karate kicks. Kicking to the rear puts more of a focus on the hamstrings and glutes. Four more doubles and then you're gonna turn your power button on and make some waves. Get ready. In four, three, karate kick right. For four, then left. We're reducing repetitions. This kick is more complex. We call it a crescent kick. You will lift your hip and knee inward and sweep outward. The internally rotated hip puts more of a focus on the inner thigh. Get ready, we're moving on to the final cut. Crescent knee right, left. Repeat to right, double cross, side and down. Now double cross left. Each four minute kick round is followed by a two minute intensity drill with a focus on the muscle group that was targeted by the kicks. Each drill includes two exercises, one with feet on the pool floor and one with feet off. The core becomes lit as you reduce the repetitions between feet down and feet up. I call these the up-down drills. This drill will include two exercises. Exercise number one is a fast sprint in place with pumping arms. Exercise number two is suspended, feet off the floor, performing seated leg extensions or flutter kicks. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Run down, run down for four, three, two, and suspend for four, three. It's time for another up-down drill. You're doing quick plyometric jumps. Now get ready to go to suspended. Exercise number two, suspend up in an L seat and do quick jack pulses. It's time for an up down drill. This one targets glutes and hamstrings. Four, three, now drop your feet, Russian kicks. As we go from up to down, it almost becomes impossible. It's a core challenge, but it's hard and it's meant to be. Now suspend, eight, seven. You'll notice in the second half of the video, I'm wearing the Aqualogics ankle blades to demonstrate that you can progress your leg workout with drag equipment. Water exercise is as intense as you make it, so be sure to keep it challenging and results-driven.